Hello everybody, in this web development tutorial uh, we have a member at our forum who was having problems making one of the contact forms which is a tutorial at our site at developphp.com he was having problems making the form connect and if what happened is if the user happened to navigate to his site without the www dot in it it wouldn't connect to the PHP script like it needed to and I can show you a couple of examples of this. Let's go to Web Intersect. And I already have these methods implemented. I'm going to show you how to to do it yourself using ht uh, .ht access file if you happen to be on a Linux uh server. Apache and uh so let me get rid of this www. Let's see what happens. Let's say if I tried to navigate to Web Intersect without the www dot there, which is sometimes how Google will render uh, search listings, they'll put your link without the freaking www dot www dot in it, and it'll mess up your scripts. So you you should consider something like this, especially if you're building this uh, these kind of dynamic communities where there's lots of PHP scripts that have to get connected to it's very serious and I'll also show you how PayPal PayPal does this trick as well and uh, or they utilize this method not maybe not the exact method but the same logic so let's press enter here you see how it added the www dot that has uh, that would not happen ordinarily on another website unless uh, Let's see, let's go to YouTube, let's see what happens. They're using it too. Okay, that's good. Let's go to PayPal. Try not to put the www dot and all that. PayPal.com and you'll see they're gonna add a uh, SSL URL. Go to PayPal. Now it's a, a uh, secured lockdown server with SSL, and they make it. They re uh, write the URL using an HT access trick or the trick that Jake 2008 mentioned here using the uh, httpd.ini script. And uh, and he was correct about Linux being a dot ht access file so let me show you that file now this is very important for making your scripts all get connected to correctly with contact forms with dynamic database uh, with anything that that you need so uh, this is very very important and what I did in the first line here is I just put the uh, a comment of pound sign comments out of line so you can put pound sign anywhere to make yourself comments to keep notes and it won't process it the script won't process that line so here we claim disallow viewing of uh, HD access files on our server and that is four lines four through seven now to make the rewrite condition work correctly you just turn the rewrite engine on and here I just put a note said make all requests have the www dot in them uh, so here's the condition and then here's the the rewrite rule so you can see the condition is anything in the web intersect website uh, on that server any any page that happens to be uh, navigated to if the www dot or the www dot is missing then it gets added to it using this uh, little file and here's how you make the file you go to like notepad or something that's just a very basic text editor or you can create the file and then rename it once it's on the server using your FTP program and uh, let's see let's put in that code so you would just take this code and you would put it in a notepad file where is that? Yeah. Get rid of all this crap. Here's the notepad file, untitled so far. And then put the code in. And you go to File, Save As. Let's just put it on the desktop. And put dot ht access. That's it. 
press save and now we have a file here on our desktop let me move this so you can see it this little guy right here and as you see it has no name it just has an extension you pop that into your server uh, or onto your server root your root directory on your server and then test the effects you will like it it's something you need if you're gonna be running dynamic scripts like the big boys okay we'll see you guys next lesson